very good morning everyone present in this two week faculty development program on quality of teaching learning and research organized by iqsc isfcp in collaboration with apti punjab state branch for today's lecture we are having eminent speaker with us dr subham thok thakur associate professor department of pharmaceutics isf college of pharmacy Dr. Subham Thakur is going to deliver his FDP lecture on technology readiness level as a tool for strengthening research funding proposals in India. Sir, I would like to welcome at the platform of ISF College of Pharmacy. Welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Sun. Shall I start, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So good morning to everybody. I warmly welcome you all respected dignitaries, resource persons and faculty, my faculty, fellow faculty members for joining us in a two week faculty debate program on the uh, topic quality of teaching, learning and research, which is organized by ISF College of Pharmacy MOGA in collaboration with Punjab State, APTI, Punjab State branch. So myself, Dr. Shwam Dhakur, and, and I sincerely thanks all the organizing committee for giving this opportunity. Since we have all joined by online mode, I will be keeping my session short and interactive. So you all are free to use the chat box for any queries. At the sir, last slide, one more again, share kare, please, sir. So today I will be sharing my perspective on the topic technology readiness level as a tool for strengthening research funding proposals in India. So we'll be focusing both on conceptual as well as practical clarity. Sir, slide share, kare, please, sir. Sir, wo nahi hui thi starting mein. Nahi, nahi. Now it is, take it in presentation mode, please. Okay, sir. Yes, yes. Please start. He is trying to Shall I start, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, Dr. Sun. So good morning to everyone. I warmly welcome all the respected dignitaries, resource persons, and my fellow faculty members for joining us in the two weeks faculty development program on quality of teaching, learning, and research, which is organized by ISF College of Pharmacy, MOGA, in collaboration with Punjab State Branch, APTI. So myself, Dr. Shubham Thakur, Department of Pharmaceutics, and I sincerely thank all the organizing committee for the giving me this opportunity. Since we have all joined by online mode, so I will try to keep my session short and interactive, and you all participants are free to use the chat box for any queries. So today I will be sharing my perspective on the topic technology readiness level as a tool for strengthening research funding proposals in India. And we will be focusing both conceptual as well as practical clarity. So by the end of these sessions, we can understand the concept and structure of TRLs, that is technology readiness levels. We are able to identify TRL expectations of major Indian funding agencies. We can learn to align research objectives, methodologies, and outcomes with appropriate TRLs. 
and last we can improve our proposal clarity credibility and funding success rate so coming to so why many good proposals fail this is not due to the weak ideas but because they fail due to we are not able to clearly convey the technology readiness feasibility so we are not a unclear technology maturity we have over ambitious claims without any proof of concept misalignment with the funding schemes weak translation plans and limited industry or user engagements so i have one quote that funding agencies don't reject ideas they reject uncertainty trl based clarity converts good science into a fundable research so first we should understand the trls technology readiness levels provide a systematic measure to estimate the maturity of core technologies within a program this framework guides the selection monitoring and evaluation of technologies from their initial ideation to the commercial readiness this was first original uh, developed by nasa and the trs scale offers nine level matrix which is started from basic research that is trl1 to the commercial application that is the end of trl9 intermediate levels include proof of concept prototype development functional validations in various environments and regulatory hurdles so this is the trs scale from concept to the deployment so first three trl 1 2 3 is the research phase and trl 4 5 6 is the development stage and trl 7 8 9 is the deployment stage so first we should learn about the research stage that is laying the foundation of the research it is fun, it involves the fundamental scientific inquiries and establishing the basic viability of the concept this stage is characterized by theoretical exploration and early experimental validation so trl1 involves basic principles observed this is the foundational stage where scientific discovery are the priority and all the research hubs are observing and reporting basic principles so coming to next technology concept formulated in this we understood the basic principles and shift towards the identifying potential practical applications of our hypothesis in the trl3 this is the experimental proof of concept that hypothesis is act, uh, further to the active research and develop begins here uh, all the laboratory experiments are to be conducted and we generate the proof of concept model for our hypothesis then the next stage is the development stage which is the building and testing and it bridges the gap between the theoretical concepts and practical application and we are focused on integrating components and technique testing the technology in increasing realistic environments so if we see trl4 this is the technology validated in the lab so we our components are integrated tested as a system in controlled laboratory environments and our goals are confirmed here in the trl5 we move to technology validation in the relevant environment in which these components are realistic sporting elements and tested in a simulated environment this trl5 provides the better understanding of the performance of our product so when we move to the trl6 this in this we have demonstrates the technology in the relevant environment in this we build the prototype system and demonstrates its functions in the clinical part so at last that is the deployment stage that is the directly in contact with the consumers real world application and this is the final stage and demonstrate the technologies operational environment leading to full qualification and widespread adoption in this trl7 involves system prototype demonstration in an operational environment we can involve phase 3 clinical studies or medical devices that can be used in a limited number of real users in, in trl8 actual system completed and qualified in this the all the regulatory inda anda forms are filled and at last trl9 actual system proven that is the all the your products are being marketed in the uh, 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 market and commercialized so we can learn the, with the examples the trls in pharmaceutical chemistry 
it offers a simple and systematic way to explain how a molecules uh, your molecule becomes the drug firstly in the first stage trl1 and 2 researchers focused on understanding fundamental scientific principles identifying biological targets and formulating concept on how a chemical entity or formulations can be developed into a potential drug candidate the first two stages are largely hypothesis driven and supported by literature and preliminary rational then at coming to trl3 in this the lead molecule synthesis and its characterization has to be done in the trl 4 and 5 and 6 this is the development phase phase in this the r compound lead compound is been optimized and its performance is checked for its reproducibility in trl 5 the molecule lead molecule is tested for the preclinical pharmacodynamics pharmacokinetics and toxicological studies then the trl6 it is converted into a lab scale to the uh, industrial scale in which pilot scale synthesis has to be done and they in their batch reproducibility and stability studies has to be carried out at last this is the deployment phase in which your molecule is uh, coming into the clinical trial and compared to the market reference drug if it has a good dynamic or kinetics properties then this molecule is filed for ind and 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 this is the ready product at last we are going to commercialize this drug product that is trl9 so same example we can learn in the pharmaceuticals how the trls help to uh, in for the pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals people so in which uh, research phase trl first we have to uh, check the molecule which are having the flaws or uh, current lacks in the uh, product and we have the formulation challenges and drug properties secondly in trl 2 we identify the which system delivery system we are going to prepare for lipophilic drugs which systems are benefited or for hydrophilic drugs which systems are to be benefited then that systems formulation development and characterized in trl3 then this is the deployment phase in which the laboratory validation all your uh, formulations are optimized and reproduced at the large lab scale then in trl5 same in pre clinical studies are to be done in which pharmacokinetics dynamics and toxicity of your formulation has to be done in trl6 we same from lab scale to industrial scale are we we will prepare the pilot scale batch and the translation research happens next is the deployment phase in this the clinical comparison with the market drug if we are going for genetics we have to do only the in uh, kinetic studies or if we have the new molecule or new delivery system then we are going for the pharmacodynamics also and in trl8 we have to file ind and regulatory point of view and in trl9 the your drugs new drug formulation is been commercialized in the market so this is the uh, trl thinking in the indian context the cova vaccine all we know that cova uh, vaccine the pre clinical research basic principle and concept were formulated in india only in vitro studies and animal testing that is trl9 clinical trials has to be done that is trl5 and 6 and third phase of clinical trial have, is the trl7 then the trl8 is the regulatory point of view and trl9 is the mass production of the cova vaccine and directly to the market so here is the list of different indian agencies and their trl expectations so when we write the proposal for any uh, uh, funding for the research we must know that which agency requires which translation level so we have the appropriate opportunity for getting the fundings so if we see the dst and uh, dst serve they require around trl 1 to 4 basic to applied research if we go for dbt or birec or drdo they are having the higher trl levels that is 6 to 7 directly from the deployment stage we they don't give projects for the basic or applied research they are directly for the deployment stage in which you have prepared the product and that we can directly go for the clinical trials or Uh, or directly to the commercialization mm -hmm. or pilot mm -hmm. scale if we go for the uh, csir or, or anrf they are from the uh, uh, development stage that is trl 4 to 6 uh, so at last i would like to say that strong ideas get noticed 
but trl like uh, aligned ideas get funded so if you have any questions or queries you can email or whatsapp me thank you thank you dr subham now i would like to invite respected director sir for his comment on the lecture welcome sir so thank you organizing committee dr sant kumar verma ji for inviting me and i am thankful to the experts and who deliver the lecture shubham thakur ji is the given the lot of information related to the various agency and all these information is the highly useful to individuals so as you know that the time period it will be the short and it require the more and more information you can visit the sites personally if you have any query related to the lecture you can send uh, on our uh, youtube channel so that our team member will be try to help you so thank you very much dr subham thakur thank you for uh, provide this opportunity to the all audience faculty member and they will take the benefit of today's talk so thank you very much and over to dr sant kumar verma ji uh, thank you thank respected you. sir uh indeed this is a different uh, uh, lecture from the conventional lecture where our fdp audience can uh, get the benefit of uh, uh, different funding agency uh, what they need uh, what is the importance of trl label while applying the project so i think our fdp uh, participant will get uh, some uh, knowledge regarding this and uh, they can modify uh, their proposal of the project accordingly thank you dr subham for being with us at our isfcp channel thank you everyone have a nice day good day thank you dr sun thank you sir thank you thanks